the whole system is still in the home, the old system. It's not every day you see a home from the 1920s heated and cooled with a ground source heat pump. Oh, it's warm. You can feel yeah, the warm. These are, this is the water going through the radiators, exactly. It's a pioneering setup. This geothermal system is retrofitted to work in an older home and shared. Seven apartments in neighboring buildings, all hooked into wells, dug in this backyard 150 meters underground. This is what's coming from his house into mine. So this liquid goes into the thermal pump and back to the earth. It's taken six years to get here. There were roadblocks, delays and challenges. A few people did back out, yes, and, uh, and a few lost interest. Community organization Solon led the project, adapting to technical, financial and legal hurdles. We planned too big to start with. So, so the plan was three alleys, digging through the alleys, connecting everybody, and that was big. So they shrank it down, shifting to a small-scale cluster of apartments. She says she hopes others will replicate her model. It's like a dream, like we're heating five dwellings for less electricity than I was heating myself. A report in 2017 looked at installing a similar system in Toronto, but consultants said it would cost homeowners between twenty-five and $40,000 just for the installation. With natural gas as kind of a very affordable heating source for families and for homes right now, um, there's not much incentive to switch to, uh, you know, put doing all of this work and all of this upfront cost. In Quebec, most homes are heated with hydroelectric power. For now, Hydro-Quebec is mainly encouraging geothermal systems for new buildings. That program does uh, target you know, buildings that are the best suited for the solution. So we have eight wells. But she insists houses. more people can do eight what she houses. did by sharing the cost between neighbors and with the help of government subsidies. You know, you just have to have people who want to do it. It's so simple. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Montreal.